Hello, beautiful souls. I wanted to pop on real quick. This is definitely impromptu. I just read a post, um, the beautiful Abraham Hicks, and this is what it says. The best thing you can do for anyone that you love is be happy. And the very worst thing that you can do for anyone that you love is being unhappy and then asking them to change it. When there is absolutely nothing that anyone else can do to make you happy. And I wanted to speak about that for a minute because <sighs> using myself as an example. In the 90s, 94 to be exact, my husband was killed in a in a car accident. I mean in a skydiving accident. And I donated his organs. And in that tragedy, um, five lives were saved and it was beyond words for a 21 year old to navigate that world and know what to expect. I mean, who does, right? You just do the very best you can. But I was angry. I did not understand. I... I didn't know why that had to happen. And there were people that came up to me that were wise and had lived much longer in this live stream. And they said things like, you have to just choose to be happy. You have to choose happiness. And I thought, get out of my fucking face. Do you feel like that right now? Do you feel like all these dumpster fires all around us are making it impossible for you to be happy? It's not exactly true, but it is a choice and you can choose to be happy. There are things in your life that you can choose to be happy about. You can choose to focus on that versus what's around us and what's outside of us. Right. And it, it is my opinion that things escalate around you in your vortex to push you further inside yourself to discover the truth, the love, the compassion is all within you. So if you are desperately seeking love, acceptance, compassion, kindness, empathy, healing, I want you to pull all that expectation into your being. Because that's where it is. And when you give yourself love, compassion, acceptance, kindness, empathy, and healing, you become the best, the best version of you. And you do the entire world a favor. The best thing any of us can do for those that we love is to work on ourselves to be the very best version of ourself, to love ourself, and to choose happy. How do you do that? Well, it's not easy because we have to unlearn all the bitching and moaning and complaining that the whole society does. They think that, that that's small talk. It's disempowerment talk. I see my video lagging and I apologize. Wi-Fi. But... When you truly go within and you cut, you purposefully choose to not give attention to all these external sources of sadness and despair and crisis and all these things, you are giving your energy to what matters most, which is yourself. And I don't say that like we don't, we're not concerned about the things that are happening outside of us. We are. But we've come through this journey far enough to realize we don't have it to give unless we heal it within ourselves. If you want to be out there making a change in the world, making it more compassionate, more kind, more empathetic, full of love, then that is what you should be within your being, full of love. And it starts with loving yourself. If you want the world to be more compassionate, 
be more compassionate. If you want the world to be more kind, be more kind. This goes back to be the change. Be the change you want to see in our world. It starts with you. And another reason, we don't control all these things outside of us. Unless you physically created the event, you don't control it. You don't control the people reacting to it. You only are in control of yourself. If you feel a lot of negative energy coming from something that you're giving your attention to and you want it to stop, stop giving your attention to it. Turn it off. Don't go there. Protect your energy field. Enforce your healthy boundaries. Know what a freaking healthy boundary is. It's not scrolling all day, every day on X. No offense to X. I'm just saying. That is not where you find enlightenment. It's not. There's good people there. There's not so good people there. That's true about every platform and social space. The point is that you want to give your energy and focus to what truly serves you. And if you are spending all day, every day bitching about whatever it is that you're giving your energy to, the solution is stop giving your energy to it. You'll be amazed at how much peace and calm you have in your life when you turn that shit off. Your life is not dependent upon that. However, the trajectory and navigation of your soul path is dependent on whether you com completely ignore yourself still continually or you wake up and you start to go within where all of your truth lives. So I ask you, to choose happy. Choose happiness that your eyes work. Maybe with correction. Maybe without correction. Be happy that you have sight. Be happy that your senses work. That you're able to taste food. That you're able to feel things. Be happy that your feet work. Your legs work. Your body form can carry you. Be happy for the ones in your life that give you space. To have your little fits and breakdowns. We need that. I'm just saying. There are other options in life. Besides jumping on the bitching train. You can be the change. If for no one else. Yourself. Choose happy. Have a great day.